Hello everyone, this is Richard Cespedes and we're here to play Zombies Ain't My Neighbors. This is gonna be the first part of uh, I think four or five um, pieces of the full play that I'm gonna put out. The four videos I'm gonna put out. I wanna pick the guy. This is actually a real, really awesome game. I remember this game as a kid, as most games I play, Zombie Panic. Um, uh, you know, I just like the concept as a kid. I love the zombies. Start you off fighting the zombies. You see that guy cooking there. You know, you save him. You save the 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 couple up there. And I like the, I I just like everything. Get that squirt gun. The life. <clears throat> You can interact with lots of things um, in the game. Say the little dog there, the little dog. The two cheerleaders just bouncing around while zombies are around the knife running away or hiding. They actually have a new version of this, um, I think, uh, as a game app on the cell phone or something like that. And it's kind of like uh, similar to this. Which I think is more vast, more game players and, and multiplayer, whatever. I, I mean, I would suspect since it's New Millennium and everybody likes that, uh, the the PS3 and PS4, um, Medal of Honor and all these other ones and uh, <clears throat> these other shooter games. I forgot the name of them with multiplayer. See right there, you get to open that up, get a little potion, you get transformed into a be indestructible, turn on blue, turn into a werewolf, purple werewolf, save that little baby. And I always liked this game because the music, the music was always very, very, um, very, uh, methodically well put out, well crafted. Um, the concept of the game is like you're like back in the 50s. You know, the old style 50s um, horror movie, they use practically all the concepts, you know, big spiders, uh, um, Mars, Martians, um, they just use a lot of the um, old kind of uh, stereotypical 50s um, era type of music to put in the game, I thought that was ingenious, and the kid wears the 3D glasses, you know. And it kind of feels like a real neighborhood. That's what the game kind of really, um, I really enjoyed was because the game felt like it was like a real, um, neighborhood, real town with the, the hedges and the trees and the trash cans. And it was at nighttime, so it gives it kind of like a real good, uh, kind of theatrical kind of, uh, perception of the game. This level has a great soundtrack too. We're done. I'm gonna check some what else is there. This will be probably like my, uh, the video will be like 25, 30 minutes. Toxic waste barrels.
Level 3 Terror in Isle 5 That's a, pers a perfect place where you will find a baby, huh? Wandering, crazy baby. I guess those are like tourists or something, or just a couple outside, I guess. You can see those dolls right there, I'm trying to copy Chucky. You know, that's a good, oh, here it comes. See, that's a great concept to put that in the game. I mean, they thought of everything. I mean, they went all out, you know. They did a great job in this game. And those grocery carts and the grocery aisles. Hey, they, just, they really did a great job. Tomatoes as weapons. Got the, the freezer with all the meat inside and those popsicles as weapons too. It's kind of crazy. Level 4 Chainsaw Hedge Mage Mayhem. And then uh, also to the use like uh, the music from uh, the dance era of the 50s and 60s, you know? Or probably like in the mid, late 40s, I think it's, or probably somewhere around there. When those black and white type of uh, horror sci-fi movies were coming out. The music was coming out too. The dance crazes and all that. This game is very much fun with two players. I remember playing this game with friends. Um, I think they owned it or I think I rented it a couple of times. We would try our damnedest to beat this game, but this game was just too damn long and too hard. Weird kids on the block. 
This is gonna be the the cocoon kind of um, multiplying kind of a alien type of people. To those kids who look like me. So this song is a real good song. Say the teacher gave you an F. And a scared military guy. Now the copes, I can understand them as like a, a projectile kind of bomb, I understand, you can shake them up and like throw them at these aliens because like some of them, like the zombies, they die with fluids or liquids and I think that most of the monsters, they die from fluids and liquids so the copes make sense the bazooka makes sense I don't know why they didn't put water balloons, that's a real, that would have been a real cool thing to do The fire extinguisher is another another one I could kind of see. More shocking than level five, Pyramid of Fear. I like the way they do the intros of the levels, how they do that, how the titles. This level I uh, I remember distinctively because of the music and because of just the level itself. Trying to play the game over and over again, you go through these levels and get the passwords and everything. But the thing that sucked is that when you die, or when you um, turn off the game and you put the password in, you lose a lot of your um, your weapons and your um, health kits and all that, you know, emergency kits and all that. So you lose your life, you lose your squirt gun, bazookas, everything like that. So you start over again. And it becomes very difficult to find everything all over again. zombie I, I like the way the zombies looked you know they look like genuine zombies how zombies are supposed to look but I kind of feel like they could have maybe at least to have maybe like two other versions or at least one other version of the zombies in this game
Oh, I got another player. Dr. Tongue's Castle of Terror. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Dr. Tongue is actually, um, the scientist that's, like, creating all these monsters and all the mayhem in your city, you know? He's a crazy mad scientist. The final, final boss. He's very, very difficult. I kind of always thought to myself that there could be um, another Zombies and My Neighbors remake for the new systems or something like that. And I think that because graphically, one, they will look so good, it will be so engaging and so, um, inter uh, just so, um, awesome to play graphically because the environments and the bad guys and the music and all that, but, um, I think that the 2D version will, will always be better, you know, it's very hard to, um, incorporate 3D and make it new, especially trying to remake an old classic game that everybody loved and just look at Sonic the Hedgehog and they try to do it for a Dreamcast. Uh, it just doesn't work. You know, their realms are too deep. You know, this song is also very cool too because of how they do the, um, the echoing in some of the instruments. I don't know what the instrument is using but it has an eerie sound to it. An echoey eerie sound to it so um, reminiscent of the 50s. Um, sci-fi horror film, black and white sci-fi horror films work so well. It's a great concept for a game.
fun level. Level 9. Toxic Terrors. See how they got those blobs in there? Yeah, and they can blob the victims too, so you gotta watch out and let them sit on there. The slime sit on them too long and kills them. No, oh, this is the one where the Chuckies come. The factory. It's one of my favorite levels because it's a great concept.
Now this next level is a real cool level. Wheat gone bad. Need cheerleaders. Mars needs cheerleaders. This is the one that I particularly like the most. You shoot you and you put your little ball. That big old great design spaceship that they do. Put a lot of work and did a great job in this game. Big old football field. Well, I guess zombie football players. Spaceship destroyed. See, it's a very nice home, some very nice designs. Let's hit that orange. Oh yeah, and the football is a weapon.
should be dead very soon. There you go. <laughs> Throw the football and he catches him, runs away. All they want to do is play a little football. Lockers up there. Alright everybody, this is Richard Cispit. This is the end of the first part of the uh, four or five or six uploads I'm going to do. For Zombies Ate My Neighbors. <clears throat> Thank you all for watching this first video upload. God bless and watch out for the other videos of me playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors. The second part should be coming up. Thank you.